Okay, sorry about that, folks. You can see down there that this is a, uh, well, it's a DVD update. It's not massive or anything. You know, well, it's kind of, it's a decent sized DVD update, but really, you know, just a lot of stuff been added. Whether it's bought or DVD fabbed, if you will. Now, I, I will say this, there's one movie I don't have here because I've already shown you that I have it, but I am going to say this, I'm going to give you an update on it. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph, um, as you probably know by now, I've recorded two times already. Once, um, I've downloaded and recorded two times, I've actually, well not, not recorded, but I've downloaded and basically DVD made a few times already. A DVD maker that is Windows, courtesy of Windows DVD maker, have made a DVD of. The first being the screener version, which we all know has the, at times, the uh, property of Walt Disney product pictures, do not duplicate uh, words coming up on it. Um, then I downloaded through a torrent the HD, HD digital uh, release that came out uh, last month. Did the same thing there. But that had some subtitles to it, which wasn't too bad. So it was a bit of a semi-official release, in my opinion. And then, this past Tuesday, I decided, you know what? I'm just going to get it officially. No subtitles, nothing like that. So I ordered it off-demand. I mean, on, I ordered it on-demand. Um, recorded it, and now officially have it. So officially, I did buy it. And of course, that four ninety nine gets added to the bill, but still, it's a lot better than going out and buy it, paying sixteen ninety nine or something. So yeah, I officially do have Wreck It Ralph now. No subtitles, no DVD screen awards, the same property of blah blah, just the official deal. So that's taken care. Of. Now I do have some DVDs here that I may have shown you before, and if I haven't, this might be the first time you've seen them. So, sit back and enjoy. First off, we're going to start with the ones that, like I said, I'm pretty sure you guys may have seen, may have not seen yet. Um, both I got courtesy of DVD, courtesy of the DVD Fab, because I rented one of them from, I think it was Redbox, or, no, no, it was not Redbox, it was Netflix, which surprised me. In the other, I DVD Fab courtesy of my, uh, nine-year-old nephew because his parents bought him the movie. And of course I'm talking about, first of all, Ice Age, Continental Drift, which is Ice Age 4. See right there. And then of course, Hotel Transylvania, which is obviously a big hit with the kids. They like this movie, especially my five-year-old nephew, he loves this movie. So, Hotel Transylvania. And now, we get into some of the other stuff here. Let's so take a look at what I call the sleeves, if you will, because right now I'm down to one case. I still haven't used it yet. I'm planning to eventually. But, let's see what we have here, shall we? We have this year's Grammy Awards. Right here is this year's Grammys. We have Fireflies in the Garden. My mom wanted this movie, so I got it for her. DVD Fab, of course. Also DVD Fab, my mom likes this character. Well, likes this individual. Madea goes to jail. Uh, recently, this year's Oscar Awards, the Academy Awards, if you will, this year's Academy Awards. I don't know if I should, I think I did, but just to make sure, Xanadu, 
got this off Netflix, not Netflix, but Xfinity, Comcast Stream Picks, if you will. Hope floats. And what's funny about this is my mom knew she had this movie. She knew she had it on VHS, but she couldn't remember she had it on DVD. I went and looked in her closet to see what DVDs we had and didn't have, and surprisingly, she did have it. So she's got herself a backup of Hope Floats. Then we got Fools Rush In. She wanted a DVD copy of this, so I got the DVD Fabbit. Same with Angel Eyes which, with Jennifer Lopez and the guy that played Jesus in the uh, Passion of the Christ. All About Steve with Sandra Bullock. And Amazing Love, the story of Hosanna. Jose, was that I think? There we go. I'm trying to get it so you guys can see it. And then here we have this year's WWE Elimination Chamber pay per view. Air, the motion picture, which is an anime, kind of more of a, I guess you could, I, I don't know what, they call it one of those dramatic animes or comedy animes, I don't know. Kind of dramedy ones. More of the drama than less comedy and whatever. Here we have a classic, Last Unicorn, the 25th anniversary edition. Last Unicorn, I know they brought out a 30th one already. But this is the 25th one, Last Unicorn, which is one of my personal favorites. I saw it. I saw that as a kid, so that means. Here's another one I think I saw one, a couple of times as a kid. Surprise, surprise. Uh, well, not a surprise. Well, surprise, surprise, yes, because I did like say see it a couple of times as a kid. Rainbow Bright and the Star Steel. That's right, Rainbow Bright and the Star Steel. Right there. And of course, Aladdin and the King of Thieves downloaded this through a torrent and, and just like I did with Wreck-It Ralph and the screener and HD digital copies of them before I did the official one, if you will, on Tuesday, I downloaded this courtesy of a torrent and used Windows DVD, movie ma uh, DVD Maker to make a DVD out of it. And it works. And then, of course, to those that I bought, those that I bought recently, we have 300 right here. You have 300. It's a very good movie. And then for five bucks, you can't go too wrong with this. We got both. We got Conan, the complete quest, basically the franchise collection, all two movies, the R-rated, the R movie, the first one, which was rated R, and the second one, which was rated PG, which is the Barbarian and Destroyer, both on a two-sided dual disc. It's pretty cool. say to yourself, well, Brian, don't you have Wonder Woman already, and don't you have 300? Well, for those, for those of you that don't know, yes, I do have 300. I have it on the same DVD plus 
LSRW as I have Return to Riverdale, the Archie movie, and TMNT 2007. But you see, but you see, the reason I got Wonder Woman and I got 300 here is just is a is a reason that I, I don't know if I've explained it before or not. But the reason is, you know, quite simply, my former recorder, my ILO recorder, which unfortunately has passed away long, many years ago. Uh, well, not many years ago, more like going on four years now. Go figure. Um, it basically was, you know, basically anytime I would connect my Philips DVD recorder, my DV, not my Philips, my Philips DVD player, my Philips DVD player to it, or anything like that, it would constantly have some air for some reason. You hear, it's like, okay, the background noise, if you had background music and everything, that would pretty much make up for what you would be hearing for the rest, of, if it was just the vo voices and all that, you'd be hearing nothing but like, kind of deal. And it wouldn't be too bothering, but let's say if I was to make a copy for someone who likes to have, you know, just, you know, a good movie, and they hear that, you know, it's, it's not going to be pleasing to them. So, so basically, I came up with the decision that if I see, if I can rent them from Netflix or Redbox, or even if I see them for good prices, and in this case, $5, at places like Walmart, or Walgreens, or wherever, or even Safemart, then I'm going to buy the movie, so that way, at least, I have a semi, -de I have a, not only an official copy, if you will, which those are, but the, you know, whatever, which, surprisingly, these are official copies on those variety DVDs, but I won't have no air, <clears throat> if you know what I mean. I won't have no air, kind of like in the background at times, if you know what I'm saying. Because surprise, but because here's the thing: when I do that with my Sony one, I don't hear nothing. It's like you get the movie, you don't hear no air. Or anything. So I don't know. But yeah, that is why I bought the movies. So, and also the fact that sometimes. From what I've seen, the RWs don't always work well on certain DVD players, and you want them, and you're going to, let's say I want to watch Wonder Woman or Conan, uh, if you will, I can't do that. I mean, not Conan, but Wonder Woman 300, like, say, let's say, like, let's say, for example, I'm going to go on a long car trip, and I want to watch 300 on my uh, portable DVD player, but I can't do, do that because it won't play the RWs. This will play. That's always another good reason to buy them. But anyway, that's my DVD update for today, the 7th, I think, already? Yeah, the 7th of March, 2013. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Video responses are greatly appreciated. And I'll talk to you later.